This is the Rendle Chateau Bulletin. Episode 4 Today is March the 25th and this is Rennes de Chateau News. We heard the castle of Rennes de Chateau is sold. The new owners paid a nice price for the property. But hey, if they can find the Ark or some other mysterious treasure, it might be a good deal. Henry Lincoln is sorting his archives. Read about it on this website. Henry is donating everything to a university and needs about $8,000 for his project. So, if you have some money to spare... On the Dutch forum the small parchment was hot. Our member, RLC, has found some fascinating geometry in it. It is very interesting and we are curious where it will take us. The trip Jean and I were organizing in May has been cancelled. But in this video I will show you some of the places we would have visited. This summer Jean will be in the neighborhood of Rennes Chateau. So give him a call if you need a guide. So let's have a look at the Googaloo, the west side. There are some interesting rock formations and they don't look very natural. In a way they remind us of very old statues. And yes, one can recognize another devil's chair. This one is facing the sunset. Like the Googaloo on the south side, the rocks are imposing, but there are also small buildings. This one looks like one of the Capitel, a small shed, like the ones found near Costasa. There's a lot of exploring to do, and we found a piece of metal. We would like to believe it's a blade of a sword of a Roman soldier. But even if it isn't, this Googaloo is interesting to visit, and don't be surprised if you find the remains of an old civilization. Inside Information Today we would like to talk about the Sot Pêcheur. The Sot Pêcheur is an interesting manuscript. Girard de Serde mentions it in Le Trésor Maudit. And although it's one of the strangest puzzles, de Serde just states Among Sonnier's personal papers, we have also found this strange cryptogram. And that's it. He continues with statements about treasures in the region and quotes by historians. And for the rest, he doesn't mention the cryptogram again. Later on, it's picked up by many researchers. The most interesting one may be Roger Bonnard. He's one of the first researchers who came with a solution that points to a certain place. He wrote about it in Trésor de l'Histoire. In contrary to the statement in the visitor's guide of Rennes le Chateau, one should buy, or download from the Dutch forum, the 42nd edition. We have tried to follow in his footsteps, and finally we concluded that the answer he found was an anagram of a part of the letters and we finally lost him. We were not able to reconstruct the rest of his solution. So we will quote the magazine and maybe you will join us on the Dutch forum to see if you can help to recreate his explanation. The first part of the solution brings us to Lagastu. It states, states, and excuse me for my French, Trésor, Roi, Envoy, Lagastus, Ave, in 1785. And Bonnard thinks it refers to the Avon Paris, or Paris, which was a bit further south than 1785 meters of Rennes du Chateau. The second part says, Trésor royal dans une caverne au Lagastou, accès du sud de l'Avin, 2245, dépôt à Loire, Romain, à la rique de 
Templier Abbey. And that states a royal treasure in a cave at La Cagoustou. Sorry. Access it south of the Avon, 2245 meters south of Rennes Chateau, Roman, Alaric II, Templar Abbey. And next he finds the following text. Or, natif Roman, Opul, Depot, Visicotique, Alaric, Royal, Templier Bézu, Axer, Cars, Sud, Ave, Royon, 315, M, Point, Ave, P, Carla, Roi Moir, and then 2245, M. We find the extra M's confusing. Bonard thinks it's M from a meter. It's possible, but why not miles, minutes, or the Roman M for thousand? Anyway, after all our efforts, we were not able to reconstruct this solution. But Jean and I visited the region and found a hole. <laughs> but Allah, no treasure from Alaric or anyone else. We guess Bonard took it all. Well, today's trip is taking us from Lelebain to saint sauveur and from saint sauveur to the caves of La Valette. Starting point is the small church in saint sauveur near Lelebain. This church is worth a visit. It has some strange features. If you walk around with a small stick, or twig on your finger, the stick will act like the needle of a compass. Hard to explain, but this is Jean figuring it out with a pendulum. There's also an old wooden pole right in the middle of the church. Behind this church there is this kind of man here. To be honest, we can't figure out where it is. It seems something Masonic, but we didn't do any research on it. The walk to La Valette is beautiful, but straight through the woods. One needs a guide to get there. The last part of the trip is not very easy, and you have to ask permission if you want to take the shortcut. Finally, the caves are there. They are blocked by a small wall, like a defense system. The caves were used as a hiding place, especially in religious wars, when the Catholic people were hiding from the Protestants. A stalagmite looks like a statue of the Holy Family, so we can imagine this place was a kind of sanctuary. According to some archaeological finds in the area, these caves were occupied since the Bronze Age. There's another interesting clip if you want to see more of the caves. Just follow the link in the description. Well, time is up. Thank you for watching. This was Sessiot. See you.